Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Thursday, September 27th. On today's program, we're continuing to keep pace with Active Aging Week. But while some were out sampling some active-minded treats, others hit the water of the Caloosahatchee River for an ecological expedition. Laura Slack is here to talk about her upcoming Life Quest discussion. We are going to talk to you about how we protect the endangered sea turtles on Sanibel and Kaya Costa. Beth Crenshaw is here to go over some of the amazing events coming to Shell Point this October. So we're going to be talking about the events that are planned from the Resort Services Department for the month of October. And we're turning the page with Jean Fuchs for a look into the rise of her Shell Point book club. So I read them all that first year before I was seven. So my dad said, uh, we got problems here. Uh, we're going to have to buy some books for this kid. But first, we're clearing the bunker for a look back on this day in history. It was September 27, 1930, when legendary golfer Bobby Jones won his fourth major tournament of the year, becoming the first person to win the Grand Slam of golf. Jones blew away the field to win the U.S. Open, British Open, British Amateur, and U.S. Amateur. With history in sight, 18,000 people watched as Jones kept his perfect swing flowing. Jones would retire from golf only one year later at the age of 29, winning 15 majors over the course of his career. That record would stand for 50 years until he was surpassed by Jack Nicklaus in 1980. In 1934, Jones would found the Augusta National Golf Club and its new tournament, the Masters, a staple tournament in the current Grand Slam of golf. Active Aging Week keeps moving along, and in case you missed out on yesterday's action, here's a recap of Wednesday's happenings. 